Hi everybody, happy Monday. Welcome to our Monday video of the week. Super excited to hang out with you guys. I'm Bev McCullough of Flamingo Toes if you're new here and I am right now streaming live to Facebook, my Facebook group, the Flamingo Toes Stitch and Share Club and over on my YouTube channel. So, so happy to have um, all of you guys here today. I saw lots of friendly people saying hi beforehand. I love that because <laughs> I'm just hanging out waiting to start live and so I love seeing who's here and who's popping up so that's really fun for me. So right now we are in the middle of our Daisy a Day quilt along. That is the quilt behind me on the wall and we are going to be sewing up block two. Um, so it's gonna be really fun. This is our block. It's a really cute little patchwork flower block. It's very similar to the block we made last week. Um, the last week one had a solid fabric, not a solid pr color, but a big single piece of fabric in the center. And then um, this one has uh, some fun patchworks in the center. So it's a great uh, block for using up scraps or if you want to just get a a busier look than the other one and show off more fabrics this one would be such a cute pillow and you could really do it fun for fall like if you did the sunflower thing and then did like black prints in the center and then you kept these yellow or you could go really fallish and do like a like a rust color around the outside and then and then some multicolor like tans and oranges and yellows in the center that would be really cute too so some fun options for you guys to use the pattern in ways other than the daisy a day quilt that we are working on <laughs> so i want to see who's here let me say hi to some people um let's see over on youtube lindy's here from the great state of texas hey lindy and allison's here she said it's finally in the 80s oh my goodness Al <laughs> This is starting to be the good time of year to be in Arizona though, right? Like, I mean, maybe not quite yet, but once it gets into like November, January, February, that's like everyone else in the country is wishing they were in Arizona, right? <laughs> then you can rub it in. Hey, Laura's here. Michelle's here. I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Michelle, you were our winner on Wednesday night, but I think you were in bed. <laughs> Go back and watch Wednesday night's video, Michelle. Michelle McEwen. Um, and then send me an email. <laughs> Stephanie's here. Hey, Stephanie. Cheryl's here. Oh my goodness, we have a ton of people commenting over on YouTube. Ginger is here, and Therese is here. She's happy she's here early. That's awesome. Connie's here. Myrtle Beach. That sounds. You know what, Connie? My husband and I were just talking last week about maybe doing a winter Myrtle Beach trip. What do you think? Good idea? Bad idea? Clue me in. You can also send me an email if you don't feel like discussing it in our live video. <laughs> and Pam's here, Mrs. Beatty's here, and Marie is here. Hey, Marie. Christine, and it has a beautiful fall day in Colorado. That sounds nice, Christine. Um, Sari's here, and Katarina's here. She's here from Germany. That's so fun. Leslie and the Daisy Avenue Quilt and Stitch is here from mid-Michigan. Beautiful fall weather we're having. It's gorgeous here, like temperature-wise. It's so beautiful. We just need a little tiny bit of rain. I think I said that last week, still no rain. And there was supposed to be some in the forecast this week and gone. So that's not cool. Everything is a little bit too winterish out there. Like the trees are pretty, but all the grass is dead. <laughs> So that's not so cool. <laughs> Though my husband isn't hating not mowing. So I guess there's an upside. Anna's here. Hey, Anna. I'm so glad you got your prize package. That's so great. Lori and Dawn and Diana. Oh my goodness. Mary, uh, Mary Beth's here. 
Oh, and you know what? Happy Thanksgiving to our Canadian friends. It's Canadian Thanksgiving Day. So um, I didn't realize um, that until I looked up for a friend just a little bit ago to wish her happy Thanksgiving. So I hope if you are tuning in, which I would totally understand if you weren't, if you're tuning in, happy Thanksgiving. Yay. Roxanne is here from Greenville, Tennessee. I love Greenville, Roxanna. That's awesome. I'm so glad you guys are here. <laughs> Oh, and Cheryl's here. Hey, y'all. Okay, are you guys doing? I've seen some very, very pretty versions of our quilt, um, and it's I'm loving it. And I'm seeing daisy fields. I'm seeing some people are mixing daisy fields and dainty daisy, which is my basic that's out right now. I love that. And then I've seen some other people using other fabric combinations, so it's been really fun to see what all you're sewing with and um, sharing those photos. Keep sharing your photos. <laughs> because <laughs> it's so fun yay hi Susanna okay so Connie's answering my question about Myrtle Beach one sec y'all <laughs> she says it's great here in the 70s beautiful weather let me know she'll go see me <laughs> great time for coming to the beach okay that's what we were thinking Connie is maybe like nobody else would be there so here's that's my thought Myrtle Beach may be coming soon to me <laughs> okay y'all Let's see, okay, to update you on all the various sew-alongs, because I know there's kind of a lot of sew-alongs right now. So this is the Daisy a Day sew-along. Those are Mondays. We are making the quilt behind me. Here's our schedule, if I can get my mouse to move over there. So our Daisy a Day schedule, we are on block two. It's October 10th, and then next week we are going to sew up our B blocks. You guys, those are so fun. I can't wait to see your versions of those. And then October 24th, which is, I I don't think it's the last Monday. Yeah, it's not because I think Halloween's on a Monday. So it's the second to last Monday in October, we will be going over assembly and borders. And these quilts are, these, this quilt is easy to assemble, y'all. So you're gonna love that. And then, on Wednesdays, we are sewing through my Spring Flowers quilt from my Make It Mini book. That is a smaller project, very easy to join in with. Um, it doesn't take much in the way of fabric, just really mostly background fabric. And then some people are using scraps, some people are using like, if they have fabric left over from a quilt along or something like that, it's perfect for something like that. I think the finished quilt is like 20 by 20. So it's a really easy one to join in with. And so let me show you the schedule for that. That is this quilt here. It's um, got those cute flower blocks all around and then a heart block in the center. And what I love about this one is it's so personal personalizable. <laughs> That's a word, right? So I'm doing a fall version. I am going to go ahead and still stitch the heart, but I'm gonna use fall color to match my fabrics. But I've seen other people are using other embroideries in the center that they've done, um, like cute hedgehogs or pumpkins, um, or using their machine to embroider phrases. So there's lots and lots of options um, as far as joining in. So this week on Wednesday, so I'm doing live videos on Wednesdays, but they're in the evening, so 7 p.m. Central Time and we will be doing back stitches and lazy daisies. So even if you're not stitching along with us, um, this is a great time to join in because you can learn those stitches. And I, we're going to go over, it's almost a sampler style quilt that hard is because we're gonna go through five stitches and they're the five main stitches that I use in almost all of my projects. So it's a great way to learn those stitching if embroidery is something that you have been wanting to learn or brush up on. We are gonna have a blast stitching on Wednesday. So it's gonna be really fun. Also, I am joining, I have been sewing along with the Fat Quarter Shop Christmas Time Sew Along. That's a mystery quilt though it's not too much of a mystery anymore since all four blocks have been released. <laughs> uh, tomorrow they'll be releasing the final layout, so it's just a suggested layout. You can do whatever you'd like with your blocks, but um, I have mine all finished and I can't wait for you to see it tomorrow. I'm thrilled with how it came out. I added some sashiko stitching around the blocks after I assembled it because I really wanted that stitching to kind of overlap into the sashing and really outline each of the blocks. And so I'm super excited with how it came out. So I'll be sharing that tomorrow and then I'll show you guys next week the final, like the actual quilt in the video because 
I can't show you this week because that would be giving away the layout, right? <laughs> so I'll be doing that. Um, I'll be sharing that tomorrow on my blog. You can always check my blog, flamingotoes.com, for what's going on. And then I'll show you guys the quilt next week in the video. And then I'm also, oh my gosh, I forgot to get my blocks. Hang on one sec. I'm not even going to put you on hold. I'm just going to go get my blocks. They're right here. Okay, <laughs> this is the beauty of being in my sewing room and also you guys being super nice and patient with me when I forget things. So Backwater Shop is doing a quilt along with um, a quilt called the Support Group Quilt. And it is to Ben, there's also a fundraiser benefit that goes along with it. So they are raising money for the, um, shoot, I think it's the American Breast Cancer or it's National Breast Cancer Foundation. I can't remember, but all of the info is in my blog post about it. And, um, and feel free to research that. I know what charities you give to is important to people. So feel free to research that. Um, but it's a really, really fun quilt, y'all. So it's made up of all of the blocks are these great um, bra blocks. And so they're asking if you want to sew along, you do need to purchase the support group quilt pattern. This one's my favorite. I would love a bra like this, which sounds so weird to be saying on video, but <laughs> that is what I would love. Um, and so they're asking you to sew along and then Backwater Shop and Lori Holt are matching up to a certain amount um, any donations that people give while they're sewing along. And it's just a great way to raise awareness for breast cancer and also to, you know, support because it's called the support group, but to support a friend that's maybe uh, going through this or, or you know, maybe you have a mom or a sister that has um, been diagnosed with breast cancer or overcome breast cancer. I have a sweet friend that I lost a few years ago uh, from breast cancer and I miss her so much. So her name was Jamie and I'm sewing for her because she was kind of, she was the most positive person, even despite everything that she went through I often, if I'm in the middle of something hard, I think, what would Jamie do? <laughs> because she just had the most uplifting, positive outlook of anyone I've ever known. So I'm gonna, that's weird, I'm gonna get all teary. I miss Jamie. So anyway, I'm sewing for Jamie and I am using the um, pretty pastel prints, not the darker ones, but the pastel prints from Enchanted Meadow. And I set them against the denim, Dainty Daisy, sorry, all the Daisy prints, all the Daisy fabrics that's making me stumble. So the denim Dainty Daisy background. So my background for the quilt will be this dark navy with the little flowers all over it. And um, then it'll really pop. I think those, those cute bras in the light florals will really stand out. So I'm excited about that. You can join in if you'd like, or you can just make a donation if you'd like, whatever you wanna do. Um, I have that, my post about week one, and so it's, I think, five weeks long, and each week we make up three, because I think there's three, they're big blocks, you could see, um, three blocks in a row, and then we'll put it all together in the fifth week, so it's really a fun, easy one to sew along with. Great, great quilt to make in October, I think. <laughs> so. If you're sewing along with that, let me know. But all the info for that is on the blog. And there are also kits. Lori Holt has, um, they've used Lori Holt fabrics to make the kit, and that's what Kimberly is sewing along with. And I can't remember the collection. It's a Lori Holt collection. Um, so it's really awesome, of course. But I can't remember which collection of hers is in the kit. But there are kits on Fat Quarter Shop as well. And all that can get, you can get to all that info on my blog post. So. Head there first and then go visit Backwater Shop for all the details. <laughs> all right, let's see. Oh, Stephanie said I do a great job teaching stitches. Oh, thanks, Stephanie. And Allison said that too. Thanks, Allison. And Carrie's here. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, Carrie, thanks for tuning in on your Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, Teresa said she always does the Fat Quarter Shop charity quilt every year. That's so great, Teresa. Um, and Laura said, yours and Pat Sloan's really would make some beautiful bras. <laughs> it sounds funny saying that, right? But it's, it's all good, right? We all need them. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Okay, so those are the two um, outside sew-alongs. And then I told you guys last week about the Socialites sew-along. And that starts 
next Friday, the 21st, and I'm so excited for you guys to see that. So um, if you're not familiar with that, I didn't, I didn't include the link for today, um, but it is also by Fat Quarter Shop, and it is um, a block each week, and uh, except for Thanksgiving week and Christmas week, those are off weeks, of course, and then it goes until April because there's 24 blocks, all designed by 24 different amazing designers. And my block is the first block. So I am going to sew with Daisy Fields and I am going to use the um, this print as my background. This is like the little, I'll hold it closer so you can see, but it's the little scattered hexagon print, right, nope, right there. Um, and I'm gonna use that as my background and I'm gonna make the three inch and the nine inch block. So we'll talk more about that next week and I'll remind you that it's coming up. That will be a completely free sew along you guys and it's a nice, long one so it's even though we're going through the holidays it'll be easy to catch up because if you pick just the three inch or six inch or nine inch it's just one block a week so even if you get behind it'll be easy to kind of play catch up and the blocks are gorgeous it's not a mystery quilt it's just a free sew along so if you want to check out the quilt i do have a post about it do i have a post about it no i think if you just go to the fat quarter shop blog and search socialites too you'll be able to get all the information about that so that is what's going on there. I also, um, every month I do a quilt pattern for on sale for $5, and this month it's my Vintage Stars Quilt Along. We did a sew along with this quilt a couple years, two years ago. <laughs> anyway, you can find those videos in the Facebook group. They're not on YouTube because I wasn't streaming to YouTube at the same time. I don't believe, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mystery. I don't think I was though. Um, so you can check that out and it's a really fun one, but the pattern's only $5 and it's through October and then next month it'll be a different pattern on sale. So if you've been eyeing that quilt pattern, it's a, a really fun one to sew up and it would be a great gift too. So check that out. And that is linked in today's video description. Allison says she's sewing with Dainty Daisy for socialites. Allison, I love you. That's the best. I can't wait to see that. Lindy says she's never done socialites, but she's going to do it this time. Yay! Lindy, what size blocks are you doing? And Allison, I think Allison, you might have told me, but I can't remember. And Dawn says she's trying to do socialites with her scrappy stash. That's going to look awesome, Dawn. I love it. Okay, you guys want to do giveaways? Let's do giveaways. Okay. So every week we have a little giveaway and this is just my way of saying thank you guys for tuning in. I'm hot today. <laughs> it's warmer than I thought. Okay, anyway, um, it's my way of saying thank you guys for tuning in and you can, it's everybody can enter. It's super easy to enter. All you have to do is leave a comment on the video and that's your entry. So at the end of the week before the following video, so like next Monday right before the video, I um, take all the comments and I draw one at random and um, that's the winner from the week before. So, and that can be, um, you can comment anytime during the week or you can comment live and you can do it on YouTube or Facebook. I put all the comments together and everybody goes in the same pot. So, last week our giveaway was a fun 10 inch stacker called, um, it's maple. This is what I'm sewing with for the spring flowers sew along over um, on Wednesdays and um, it's a beautiful collection. Look at those pretty colors for fall. So it's got like this greens and rusts and peach and blush, but then it also has a cool purpley color in there. And um, so that is from Gabriel Neal Design. It's beautiful. It's a 10 inch stacker. So same thing as a layer cake. So it's 10 inch pieces. There's 42 of them, so perfect for making a lot of different quilts. Then I also have for you Lori Holt's Cute Cuts mat. This is her 5 by 8 self-healing mat, and it is blue on one side, pink on the other side. These are so great for using on your cutting table to do your stitch and flips and trimming on. Saves your cutting mat quite a bit, so definitely pick up one of these. Any kind of small mat works great for something like that. And then this is Lori's Holtz. Um, I just say Lori, like you guys know who I mean, right? <laughs> it's like share. We just know. <laughs> um, it's her Vintage Happy 2 um, cute little measuring tape. I keep these in my purse for measuring all the things on the fly that I need. And our winner this week, 
Well, our winner from last week is Janice McClellan. And I believe Janice lives in Nova Scotia, so I haven't seen her name today. She's probably off celebrating Thanksgiving. What do my Canadian friends eat on Thanksgiving? Is there a traditional Canadian Thanksgiving meal? I would love to know what that is. Everybody share. <laughs> so yay, Janice. Send me an email, bev at flamingotoes.com, and I will get your prize out to you. Okay, so for this week's giveaway, I pulled from my little box of goodies. You guys know I have like a box um, of all the things that I've bought for you guys. <laughs> and it's like the, the awesome prize box. <laughs> um, so anyway, I pulled from the prize box this roly-poly. It's two and a half inch strip, so just the same as a jelly roll. And it's by My Mind's Eye. It's one of my favorite collections they've ever done. It's called Gingham Gardens. So I don't know, you guys probably can't tell, but it's the most amazing. It's like blacks and greens and aquas. It's got a really great like yellow and green to it. Anyway, it's stunning. It's so pretty. So this is for you. And then I also have from a couple years ago, Lori did these autumn love tea towels. In fact, I think she has a needle minder out right now that looks like this pumpkin and crow, which I love. So there's cute, two little cute tea towels for you. One is this crow with the big sunflower quilt block one. And then the other one is this orange one and it says all kinds of stitchy words like thankful and apple pie and plaid and hayride and, and some of these look cross stitch. So it's really, really cute. So um, that little tea towel set. And then I also have for you guys a quilter's clapper from Riley Blake. So this is the small cl clapper. There's two sizes. The other one is, is a few inches longer. And this one, I love a clapper. If you're not familiar with what it is, it is a wood piece and it's got a nice little handle and it's perfect for helping to flatten your blocks. So what you do is you press your block and then you set the clapper on it and the heat and the moisture from being ironed and the weight of the clapper really helps flatten down your block. So if you've got some tricky seams or if you've just got kind of a bulky seamed uh, block, these are fabulous. So, um, so this is the other giveaway prize this week. So all you need to do to enter to win is leave a comment on the post, on the video and I will draw the winner next week. So good luck, everybody. I love that one, that one's a fun one. <laughs> All right, oh, thanks, Lindy. Um, Dawn, Gingham Gardens is so pretty. It's so gorgeous, right? I love it. And Allison said, clappers are awesome. Yay, Allison. <laughs> okay, so I saw Anne-Marie said, Canadian here, cooking a turkey, peeling potatoes and carrots while she watches. Yay, Anne-Marie, that's so awesome. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Oh, and we have a lot of Clapper fans. Sharon and Maureen and Roxana and Allison all love the Clappers. Yay! Okay, so I think we're all caught up. Does anybody have any questions? <laughs> Let's sew. Okay, I'm going to switch cameras here, you guys, and then we are going to sew. This one is going to be a fun one to sew because um, it's really very, very similar to... What are we doing here? It's very similar to last week's. And this is a big block, you guys, and that's why it's not all fitting super awesome on the screen. <laughs> um, <laughs> excuse me. <clears throat> okay, so we are going to assemble the center, and then I'm going to talk about how to go ahead and finish it out. I'm not going to sew all the way through it because it is just assembled the exact same way as it was last week with the, the solid center. That's this block here, and this one isn't pressed super pretty, but you can see that this is the exact same block, but we just used one big piece of fabric in the center, and on this one, we're using a patchwork center. I do have a couple um, pressing tips on this as well, so we're gonna talk about that. So, to assemble this, you're going to need the pieces for the centers. I'm going to gather up all my stuff here. And you're going to need four of uh, 16 of the A pieces. And I'm not going to tell you how many they are because it's a secret. <laughs> you have to read the pattern. But these are all A pieces. And you're going to need a total of 16 of these little guys. 
for your quilt. I am um, needing more space than I have in the world. So let me shimmy some stuff around here. <laughs> there we go. Now look, it's like I've extended the whole countertop. Beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna need 16 of these. And what we're going to do is sew them together in rows, then sew the rows together. And I, you guys know I'm a big, big proponent of chain piecing. You can do that with these blocks for sure. You're going to be making six of these blocks. So there's not that many of them and um, they go together pretty fast, especially once we piece all these cute pieces together. So I'm going to sew this row together and I'm going to shift up here so you guys can see. We're just going to sew these four together and then I'm going to sew that to the remainder. So what I would do, and I've, I've done a little bit of prep ahead of time, but what I would normally do with these is I would sew, you know, have all six to 16 of them lined up and I would sew all the first two blocks together and then sew the third block on, then the fourth, so it was all chain pieced in one long group. Um, that would take quite a bit of time on our video and I don't want to take up all afternoon. I would happily hang out with you guys all afternoon, but my assumption is that some of you might have other things to do, like eat turkey. Oh my goodness, and now I'm getting a little envious and I'm getting ready for our American Thanksgiving. I would really like that to be here. My kiddos um, are all coming for Thanksgiving this year and I am very, very ready for that. So, I am sewing, oops, I thought we'd come unthreaded, but we didn't. I have sewn all four of the top row together and now we're going to press them and I'm going to press them all the same direction. So I'm just going to press these and what we're going to do for each row is press each row opposite each other. So this is the first row and I've pressed them all towards the left if you're looking at the right side. But then the second row, I would press all towards the right. And then the exact same thing all the way down. And all those instructions are in the pattern. So you can easily follow. And that's what those little arrows mean. If you're not familiar with that technique of pattern writing, all the little arrows, I'll show you here. All the little arrows here, those are your instructions for um, which direction to press. So just follow those little arrows. Makes it hopefully a little bit easier for you. So I have sewn together the other three rows and so now I'm going to go ahead and sew my top row to my second row. And what I'm doing is I'm making sure that these seams nest up and I am going to go ahead and pin them. And that will keep it you know, as close to nice, happy seams as we can get. <laughs> All right, let's see. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, Teresa's hey, here. Hey, Teresa. <laughs> and Dawn said, first Thanksgiving in my new house. Yes, Dawn. First thing. Okay, so I've pinned those and now I'm going to sew. It's going to be my first Thanksgiving. It'll be the first time our kids have seen the house since it's been finished. So that's a big deal. They have all been extremely busy with work and um, we've only been here a couple months. So they haven't been able to come out and see it all finished. So, so that'll be cool. And it's also the first Thanksgiving now that we've moved my parents out here. It's the first Thanksgiving we've spent with my parents in... A number of years usually we um, celebrate Christmas with them at some time not necessarily always on Christmas Day but we usually either go there or they came here last year um, so this will be our first Thanksgiving with um, my parents in a really long time so I have sewn all these and now I'm going to press and what we're doing on these is we're pressing all of the seams down and I've already done that with these two rows so I'm gonna I'll just go ahead and sew them or press them down. If you're feeling like they're really bulky, you can press them open, but you should be okay just going ahead and pressing them down. So here's our cute little patchwork. Isn't it fun? 
Okay, so from here on out, the rest of the assembly is the same as the last block. So I'm not gonna necessarily go through all of it. I'm just going to walk you through it. So you're going to take your B pieces and you're going to place them on each corner and you're gonna sew at an angle across the corners, just like that, just like we did on the other block. And then you're going to take the C and E pieces. We're going to do that stitch and flip method and we're gonna sew them together in units of two. And so those will go on each side and you're gonna make four of those. And on the top and bottom one, you're going to sew those little background pieces, not background, but print pieces that make up the kind of Irish chain look for the block. So it's all done exactly as last week's and you can check out last week's video to figure out, well, you know, I sewed through the whole thing last week. So feel free to watch that. Um, I just didn't want to show you the exact same thing I showed you last week and make you feel like, okay, we didn't learn anything new this time. But I do want to talk about pressing. So I'm going to move this a little bit to the side here. Um, the pressing instructions will work for this, but I did find that it was easier. Here's the back of mine. On these two side pieces, I did go ahead and press my seams open. It felt like it was pretty bulky to press them, to not press them open. For my other one, the instructions have you pressing these blocks in towards the center, like on this one. This is our, the one that we made last week. And these get pressed in towards the center, which is fine because there's not very many seams in this. There's really only these two on each side. But this one has quite a bit more because there's a seam here plus those double seams and then all these in the centers and you're matching up. So I did go ahead and this isn't in the pattern instructions, so feel free to do it however you would like to. But I did go ahead and press these seams open and then I continued pressing the way the rest of it said. So the top and bottom rows did, I did press them out. It felt like that worked fine. Um, but. I just felt like this should be pressed open and it did, did lay just a little bit flatter than if it was um, pressed to the to the inside so that would be my tip on that feel free to do it the way it feels like your fabric is kind of telling you <laughs> let the fabric speak to you um, so feel free to do that however you would like to but that would be my little tip on that so after that, just assembly is the exact same as the last block. So really easy and really fun to put together. <laughs> okay, so I want to make sure I'm not... Um, Teresa says she always presses as she sews and usually open as needed. Right. Sometimes you do, sometimes you do need that. Um, <laughs> and Laura said she can't wait for Thanksgiving. Her only... Um, baby will be home from college in Nashville for the first time since starting. Oh, Laura, that's so great. I'm so glad you're going to get time with your kiddo. Okay, so back to our main camera. Um, that was it for this week. It really fast, right? Because it's just sewing together these cute center blocks. So if you guys ever have questions, you know you can always email me or ask in the group. I do try and keep a tab on comments as they come through from later in the week in the videos. Um, you can always hit that at symbol and then type my name, so at Bev McCullough, and that will tag me. I always get notifications for those. So if you have a question, that's the best way to get me to see it. So feel free to share your quilts on in our Facebook group or on Instagram. If you are over on Instagram, use the hashtags. It's Daisy a Day Quilt and Daisy a Day Quilt S-A-L stands for so along. That way we can check them out and see them. Everybody loves to follow along with that kind of thing. And then next week we have B blocks. So I'm super excited about those. I think they're really fun and I can't wait to sew one up for you. That one, what we've saved in time this week, we will use next week. <laughs> Not that it's hard, it's just a little bit more steps. So it'll be really fun. All right, y'all. I hope you have a fabulous week. If you're sewing along with our mini quilt, I'll see you on Wednesday. 
and check out the blog tomorrow for my finished Christmas time quilt. I really can't wait for you guys to see it. I hope you guys are having a fabulous fall. I'll see you in a few days. Thanks so much for so long, everybody.